have you ever been asked to be one of these superheroes or anything like that? Um, not a superhero. No. I've never actually auditioned for one because uh, I kind of, for one thing, you had to sign up to do eight movies. And I, and I just cut out of five. And so I was like, eight is just a lot. So, but it, I mean, the do, I guess, I don't know. That's a tough one. Because mm. look at Downey Jr. I mean, this yeah, kid's I mean, tearing it up. Yeah. I mean, when you're, when you're, when you're like, uh, I mean, definitely, it depends. It all depends on the character. I mean, it's kind of, it's just always difficult to know. But that's definitely what kind of made me a little hesitant before. Because it's kind of, you know, when you're just an individual, you have to really commit to like working within the machine, with a huge machine. When you made Twilight, did you realize that it was going to change your life? Like it was going to put you in the realm of like A-list movie star can get lots of different roles. Like, did you sense it? No, not in the first one, not at all. Right. And then kind of. So it shocked you when it came out and the thing made like hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. I mean, I thought, cause like before the director of the first one was a kind of indie director, she'd done some sort of cool stuff. And then, uh, I just kind of thought it was, uh, yeah, I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be a little kind of cool movie. It wasn't right. a big budget or anything. It's it was like, 37 million and it grossed like hundreds of millions of dollars. It was 37 million. The 37 first one? million was the first one. Huh. Isn't I that something? I didn't get very much of that. No, you didn't. <laughs> I think playing a vampire, you got to really come in there with some sort of game. And the word on Twilight was like, you took it so seriously when you got that part. That you almost got kicked off that set. I mean, I just thought, you know, considering now now that Twilight's known to be this sort of very emo thing, I mean, uh, there was a period, I, I was just, you know, I thought it was very, very serious. I, I always just kind of thought at the time, it's like 21, you have, if you're going into a relationship with someone, the way to make it really intense is if like you can barely talk to each other, you can barely touch each other, and it's incredibly serious all the time. I mean, it's kind of like what teenage relationships are like, and that's what sort of makes it feel like that. Um, but everyone kind of wanted it to be like, no, they should just be like happy and having fun. That's what people want. And that's kind of, you know, that's, that's the sort of, uh, teen romance thing. You and wanted it brooding a little bit. Yeah. I wanted to, and now that the whole series is known as like a brooding thing, but, right. uh, but yeah, they are kind of, uh, I remember the producers giving me a, a copy of the book and it's like every single instance where my character smiled and stuff. They'd highlighted everything. So you put your foot down. You said, hey, listen, man, I don't see the character that way. I'm not yeah, going to be smiling. I got, I got the same, but I got a different color highlighter and highlighted all the time when he frowns and kind of like, <laughs> like that. Did your agents put pressure on you and stuff to say, hey, you better just get with the program or they're going to fire you? Oh, yeah. They came, they flew up and said, like, you've got to, because I thought I was pretty safe. Like, right. They, and they flew up and they're like, yeah, you've got to, you have to do the opposite of what you're doing now or you're going to get fired today. So how did you hold your ground? I mean, how did you know what to do? I didn't. I literally <laughs> I came back off. I came back off lunch. I was like, hi. <laughs> I'm a smiling <laughs> vampire. <laughs> <laughs> and look at me. <laughs> I want to keep my job. <laughs> oh my God. You can't even do what you want.